Good afternoon. Welcome to my daily broadcast. Um, actually, this is take two. Actually, it's two and a half. Um, various things changed, so I had to get this out another way. So hopefully this will come through more um, clearly, effectively, vividly as well with better camera, better microphone, and hopefully a clearer message. Um, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, welcome. My name is Barry Selby. I am a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert and help strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. And I'm also a passionate champion of the Divine Feminine. And this is my daily broadcast called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart, number 397. Yeah, three more days. Friday will be 400. Still keeping track of that. And today's talk is um, pay now or pay more later. Lessons in love. And the lessons in love is kind of softening the blow. Because I want to get into this about the um, disdain that some people have for relationship dating and matchmaking coaches because i'm one of them and I want, i'm one of the ones receiving that disdain i want to speak up for ourselves and for the whole you know thing so a couple of facts for your consideration and actually just to preview that i was watching a friend who's also a relationship coach um she did a little thing yesterday on facebook live learning how to play the piano which would say remembering how to play the piano and she's working with a music teacher and she was sharing with the um camera with the audience about that thing about lessons learning about you make mistakes and you get coached and you get guided and you get better and better and better as you go forward to be more successful in life and she's using that parallel of playing music to relationships and i was like cool idea so i had a little dialogue with her and want to add some content to myself so i'll get to that in a moment but let me give you some scary facts shall i first of all if you haven't already tracked this sort of information the divorce rate in this country America is pretty pretty high. Average numbers correlate around 50% divorce rate after the first divorce. Sorry, 50% divorce rate after the first marriage, and over 70%, even 75%, for divorce after the second marriage. Not a pretty picture. So the odds of, of relationship lasting are 50% or lower. Just just as a flat fact. Secondly, the expense of divorce. The expense of marriage therapy or counseling, the expense of alimony, separate houses, the expense of losing your job because of disruption in your family. I mean, there are plenty of people who have lost more than their jobs because of the emotional turmoil of breakup. And I'm saying this not to go, oh shit, oh crap, oh horrible, although I am in a way, to be honest. But I also want to speak to the fact that people don't necessarily choose to invest up from when it comes to relationships. And I want to speak to this more importantly. And I mentioned about my friend who's a relationship coach learning to play the piano and how she's working with a piano teacher ongoing to course correct her learning as she goes through to get better and better and better at what she's doing. Why shouldn't that be true of relationships too? Would it make, does it make sense? Let me ask you this question. You can answer if you want to, but wouldn't it make sense that if you want to be good in relationship, a good partner, sexually, romantically, financially, um, Personality-wise, communication, handling your emotional baggage, being good as a parent, all these different things. Wouldn't it be good to learn about those things first? I mean, logically speaking, it would make sense. Because most people, most people, maybe not you, but maybe people you know, have dived into marriage and family without any practice, any skills, any study, any learning. Not even cracked open a book. And we wonder why it doesn't work. So my point is about the price you pay later is a much higher penalty, and I'm talking about not just financially, but emotionally and energetically. The drain on who you are when you have a bad breakup in a relationship is high. And if you put the investment up front, it's like investing in the stock market in a way where you invest a small amount up front and get a big payoff at the back end. If you invest with support, whether that's from reading books that are very helpful in the area of love and relationships, if it's working with a coach, suggestion, or working with someone who's leading an event, a retreat, seminar, training, teaching, coursework, doing online programs, doing something like that for yourself to raise your own skill level, raise your own standards, will generally make you a better relationship. Now, some people swear by the idea that when they, if they go and date 17 people in a row, they'll get better at that. Maybe. I'm going to be, going to be clear about this. Yes, some people learn from the past mistakes. A lot of people just repeat them. <laughs> Let me be just totally transparent about that. There is such a um, presumption people make that they'll be good at relationships because they're human. 
But most people, when it comes to business, will seek out guidance if they're smart, whether they go to business school, get an MBA, or go see a business coach or get someone to come into their business with them and coach them in their business day to day to day as they build their business out. When it comes to financial stuff, do you really want to trust the bank to manage your money? If you're smart, you don't. You may use the bank, but you trust a financial advisor or a, or a money manager or somebody who knows what they're doing around that arena to give you the guidance you need to be successful in that area. When you Now, I did do this myself. I'm going to be careful when I say this. But I go to the gym and use them, go to work out and using all these machines without using a trainer is an accident waiting to happen. I know I didn't do too well at times where I didn't actually get someone to guide me to use the machines properly. So even when it comes to physical health, going to the gym or eating the right diet or going to yoga classes, seeking someone who's better at it than you are, who has skills you don't have to help you get there better, is an investment that's worthwhile both for time, effort, and money. Pure and simple. Yet when it comes to the idea of relationship, people don't think there should be any reason to invest in help on that arena. Now, as I said this, does it make sense to you that the people would want to get help? Because to me, it's just, I mean, how do I say this? For my own journey, let me be totally transparent here. I made my, my, my fair share of mistakes, to be honest. And I've shared about those before, so I'm not going to go into great detail here. But one of the biggest turning points for me, actually the two turning points, one of which was to discover how the repeated cycles of bad practices I did in past relationships were catching up with me in the sense that relationships they were in relationship, those patterns would show up faster and faster and faster. So by the time I had did that for the last time, it was only in a few months, less than a year, that I was like, it's my stuff again. So I had to work on it. And I chose to go seek out support. In fact, I did a two year master's program. I've been a spiritual counselor. I mean, I've done so much stuff to get clear about this. It's my way of passing it or paying it forward. Second part, the second lesson for me was also was, was being a relationship partner who I didn't realize how I was choosing to date women who were more masculine than I was. Now, I didn't know it at the time, but looking back, I clearly see in hindsight how they were, I mean, sexy, dynamic, powerful women, but they were more masculine than I was because I wasn't claiming my space. I didn't know there was space to claim at that time. So let's just say I've had a transition, a, a dramatic transition from that point to now. And my journey has been one of really owning and claiming my space in myself, independent of the world, just inside myself. But the payoff has been the work that I do now. The service I give to my clients, to the world, in my book, my second book's coming out in August, a collaborative book, and now a third book is brewing. <laughs> None of this is planned, by the way. But that's because the work that's been going on in me, through me, and the work I've been doing for the last, now, since 1984? 33 years? No. Yes. Jeez. Over 30 years of study, and I, it, it's selfish for me not to share it, which is why I do what I do in these Facebook Lives every day, 397 as of today. Um, I do in my books and in my coaching as well. So my work is not there just for me because that wouldn't be bad. I mean, I certainly my life is a lot better now than it used to be, and my ability to, to be a better partner relationship is way better than it was 15, 20 years ago. But if I don't provide that service to other people, I'm being selfish. So that's why I do what I do, and that's why I'm here to support you. It's not a pitch, by the way, although there's one more piece I want to add to this, is that when I mentioned all the other people, like relationship coaches, business coaches, financial planners, health coaches, trainers, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, if you're smart, you won't sign up sight unseen. If you're smart, you'll test drive them. You'll sit down with them, get to meet them, you check them out. You may check out the testimonials. But even better is if you get to meet them one-on-one. -on -one. Because if you test drive them first, first of all, you'll know if you want to work with them. And to be fair, they want to know if they want to work with you. In my work, that's one thing I've made very clear and all the time I've coached with anybody, is that if you want to work with me, before you sign up for anything, if we pay any money towards me for coaching, we have a discovery session, a 30-minute conversation where you and I talk so that one, I get to know if you really know if I can help you. And also, secondly, if I know that you want to get the help. Does that make sense? Let me try that one again. <laughs> Revamp. The, <laughs> that work in the discovery session, you get to find out what I can offer and if I, what I have will help you. And I'll get to know if you want to do the work. And that's only fair. So with anybody you look to work with, make sure you have the opportunity. 
And I'll tell you in a moment how you can find out how to get mine. But I want to make sure you get this point clear, this whole point about paying now versus paying more later. And it, doesn't, it sounds scary in a way, but the reality is this. If you pay now, you're investing. If you pay more later, you're being fined. Get that value in your head and understand what's going on. Because the reality is, if you invest up front, it pays dividends for years to come. If you don't do the work up front, the penalty you pay up in the past is a massive fine, and you don't want to pay that. So start right, get the help you need, whether it's from the right books, I have a book I recommend, my own one, of course, and a couple other ones, or coaching, or seminars, or trainings, or therapy, or counsel, whatever it is that works, get the help you need. That's simple. My work, I recommend. I'll be stupid if I didn't. <laughs> and I'd be lying if I didn't either. And let me tell you how you can find out more about what I do. If you want to get more support and find out what I'm about and how I work with clients and how you can work with me, that discovery session I mentioned is easy to find. On my website, which is barryselby.com, on the left-hand side of the navigation bar, the first tab is Let's Chat. Click on that, sign up, fill out the form, and schedule time with me, and we'll talk. This is what I offer as my service initially, and if we want to work together, we will. It's that simple. Second thing is this, in case you haven't seen the other ones, is number 390, 397 in an ongoing series of talks, daily talks, called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. All of these broadcasts live on my business page on Facebook as well as my personal page, but my business page is more cohesive with these. My personal page has other stuff on it as well. And that's on Facebook, which is barryselby.author is the page on Facebook. You can also watch them on my YouTube channel where they'll go up later. Uh, the channel is Barry Selby, of course. The playlist is Messages from the Masculine. And now, ta-da, I have launched a podcast where I have put these in replay. So far, the first, they're old ones now, the first 20 or so are up already and more are coming. And that is Messages to the Masculine, which you can find in the iTunes store. Um, and my website, my website again is barryselby.com. You can find my online programs, my coaching, and my free gift there, as well as my book. And I think that pretty much covers it. If you have any questions or comments about this broadcast, please put them below. And if you know anybody who should watch this, please share it with them. Um, I think that's it. No homework. Usually I, could, usually I do give homework, but I want to make sure I get this information to you. I would suggest if you want homework, you check out what I'm offering. That's fair. And with that, I think I've said enough. Uh, tomorrow will be number 398, and Friday is going to be number 400, so this should be fun. Uh, take care of yourselves, and I'll be back again tomorrow with some more content. We'll see what the topic becomes. And uh, that's it. Take care. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.